Indigo and Cineplex. Chapter one. Once upon a time, there was a king with three children. When he died, his fortune was split between his two daughters, Princess Indigo and Princess Cineplex. His wayward son, Prince Covid, was cut off from his will. With her inheritance, Indigo, who was a voracious reader, launched physical and online stores to sell books, home, and lifestyle products. She became the kingdom's leader in the $2 billion retail book industry with a 35% market share. Cineplex, who was a movie buff, launched movie theaters and game rooms with food services. She too took the lead in the $857 million movie theater industry with a 64% market share. COVID became jealous and wreaked havoc on his sister's businesses in late 2019. Chapter 2. In early 2022, Indigo and Cineplex presented their financial data to the court to determine who would be crowned queen. The judges were concerned about the jump in lease liabilities in 2019. The princesses explained that a kingdom-wide decree called IFRS 16 forced them to present operating leases on the balance sheet. The judges looked at gross profit as it indicated profitability and stability. Indigo's gross profit decreased year over year due to a decline in revenues and a simultaneous increase in cost of sales as a percentage of revenue. Cineplex's overall gross profits decreased due to a drop in revenues, but the gross profit percentage was steady. Interestingly, the food cost as a percentage of revenue was consistent, showing that COVID did not impact theater food habits. Then, the judges looked at operating expense trends to determine who had better controls to minimize expense fluctuations. Indigo kept her operating expenses fairly consistent, showing her ability to withstand fluctuations, whereas Cineplexes varied greatly with no meaningful trend. Indigo was in a better position to budget and control expenses in times of uncertainty. Chapter 3. Cineplex was a mature company with enough cash flows to repay debt. But in 2020, the business declined as she had to shut her doors against her brother's siege. By restructuring in 2021, she increased cash flows. In comparison, Indigo's startup position in 2018-19 was caused by short-term investments. The cash generated helped her through COVID's reign of terror. She restructured in 2019-20 and matured the next year by employing a protectionist treasury strategy. Although both restructured, having more debt affected Cineplex adversely, whereas Indigo recovered faster because of short-term investments and a conservative fiscal approach. Chapter 4. The judges highlighted the large impairment losses as key matters. Because of COVID, they closed stores and operated at limited capacity, which impaired the CGUs. Ultimately, this was not a going concern issue as they believed they would reign triumphant over COVID. Chapter 5. In the end, Indigo had a stronger fortress and diversified goods to deal with COVID more effectively. She could rely on online sales, unlike Cineplex, who solely relied on in-person visits. In the end, Indigo was crowned queen and lived happily ever after. The end. References.